Welcome to the ESP tutorial on how to design a multi-core SOC. We will show how to generate and test on FPGA a multi-core instance of ESP with four Leon 3 process on cores. This tutorial follows all the same steps as the tutorial on how to design a single core SOC, which you can find listed as a prerequisite in the video description. We recommend you to watch that tutorial first as for this one, we will move quicker on all those steps that have already been explained in detail. Everything presented in this tutorial is also described in a written guide on our website. You can find the link in the video description as well. We also provide pre-built material to skip directly to the FPGA testing without executing all the previous steps. The instructions for that are in the written guide that I just mentioned. ESP currently supports multiple FPGA boards. In the SOCs folder, you can find one design folder for each of the boards. The steps described in this tutorial are identical regardless of the target board, but they should be run from the design folder corresponding to the target board. So in this tutorial, we target the VC707 board, which mounts a Vertex 7 FPGA. And so we move inside the proper design folder. Now we open the ESP configuration GUI with make ESPX config. We select a three by two layout and we set four processor tiles, one memory tile and one IO tile. The position of each tile is irrelevant, uh, so you can place them as you wish. Make sure that the ESP caches are en enabled because they are mandatory for multi-core instances of ESP. To support multi-core operation, the ESP caches implement a directory-based MESI protocol over the network on chip. Our protocol has support for accelerators as well, uh, as we will see in one of the next tutorials. We presented this protocol at Knox 2018 and the reference is listed in the suggested readings of this tutorial on our website. Aside from the SOC configuration, all the following steps are the same as those shown in the tutorial on how to design a single core SOC. So we're going to move relatively fast and please refer to the prerequisite tutorial for more details. In this case, we keep the default MAC and IP settings for the debug link, so we don't need to open the grlib configuration GUI. At this point, we generate the caches. At this point, we can generate the bstream. Once the bitstream is ready, we compile the bare metal default application and we create an image of Linux SMP. Now, before starting the test on FPGA, we connect Minicom to the UART port of the FPGA. Then we program the FPGA with the bstream that we have just generated and we run the default bare metal program right after. Notice that in this case, the bare metal program runs on a single CPU. At last, we are ready to program the FPGA again and boot Linux multicore.
we can observe the boot through Minicom, where you can notice that Linux successfully brought up four CPUs. In this case, the Ethernet port of the FPGA board is connected directly to my computer rather than to a router connected to the internet network. Therefore, Linux won't be able to lease an IP, so it is not possible to connect to the ESP instance through SSH. Once logged into Linux uh, with the user and password printed after the boot, we can run top and confirm that all four CPUs are executing some Linux processes. So this is all for this tutorial and we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you have any comments and feedback. You can find more tutorials and documentation on our website. And to stay tuned with the ESP's new features and events, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, our mailing list, and follow us on GitHub and Twitter. Thank you very much.